Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Rise SMP today! We are gonna play a small prank on one of the members that I haven't really thought about even pranking yet and uh so we're we're gonna start off this episode at the at the shop right here because we're gonna check if anybody has bought anything and we're actually gonna be doing the prank fairly fairly close to here so uh we're just gonna get on started and uh as a quick reminder guys for those of you who are closely following my series uh as i mentioned i am getting pretty swamped with schoolwork so i'm actually gonna move the series to about every every other day or not every other day, just Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'll be recording this uh, series, so this Rise series, so it'll still be going strong, but it'll just be uploaded a lot less frequently because I do have to manage uh, all my schoolwork and all of that. But anyways, as you guys saw right there, somebody just bought, uh, I guess somebody bought something from my shop because there was a payment of six iron ingots in there, so our shop still is having some small business, whether it be from food or whatever these people bought. It looks like they bought, uh, let's see, what did they buy? Cooked pork chop, maybe? Yeah, they bought po cooked pork chop. That was six iron ingots. All right, so anyways, we're going to play a small prank on somebody. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab a bunch of cobblestone. And we're going to we're gonna fill this. I don't really know whose shop this is. I think this is Kobe's shop. But Kobe's away for the weekend. And as you guys can see, he's, he's starting to build his first shop here. But before we, he can finish it, we're going to prank him. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and... Um, what we're gonna do is this was another comment on on my comment section below so I forgot really who who it was but we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fully fill up his entire area there with a stone or with cobblestone and with dirt and we're like every single block we're <laughs> we're just gonna fix it up so it, it's not gonna take too long to clean I mean I don't want to do too mean of a prank like we did on stage like that was just that might have been a little overkill but anyways <laughs> we're gonna play this small prank on Kobe just to make sure uh, his his life is a little bit harder. But what we're going to start out with, uh, let's start out with cobblestone on the very bottom floor. So I'm not sure exactly how well Kobe is. I think I'm pretty sure he's got, he's got, um, I'm pretty sure he's got like efficiency five pickaxes. But uh, nonetheless, we're going to, we're going to cause him a big, big worry here. And he's going to have to minus all that. And we're literally, we're literally going to place every single block, every possible block that we can place with either cobblestone and dirt and then we're gonna just kind of like make a big cube. Like we're gonna make his shop into a big cube of just random materials whether it be dirt, cobblestone, stone. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, <laughs> we're just gonna kind of do, what is that over there? What the heck? Oh, that might be, that might be Kyle's little tree from uh, the, the the thing that he's uh, doing. So, anyways, let's uh let's let's continue. So, as you guys can see, we're gonna fill up every single possible block with cobblestone. So he started. He's been away almost the entire weekend. So this is probably the perfect time to prank him because he whenever he is home, he's probably he's like online on Rise a lot. So like he he likes to focus on the series because it's really he's having a lot of fun recording it. I guess you could say. But anyways, we're going to as you guys can see. Just place blocks everywhere and cause a big mess. And then, I don't know, I, I might leave a message out front. I'm not really, I haven't really decided yet. I'm kind of just going with the flow and uh, see where we can go from here. But hopefully he doesn't he doesn't get mad. I don't, I don't think it's, it's going to cause too much of a problem when uh when he records it i mean it's gonna take him some time to clean up but i had the worst prank played on me when they destroyed my entire shop that was the worst that was the worst uh possible prank that they could have done but anyways kobe hasn't really been pranked we tried to prank kobe's f home or not f home i'm talking factions here what the heck so uh, we tried to prank kobe's uh actual house but it's kind of it's kind of really really difficult to work at his house because um like his house is in the nether so it's like not much to we can do like with water or with anything of that sort i mean we could probably make some redstone mechanisms but we never actually took the time to to do that at his place but so instead of pranking him there we're gonna prank him at his shop where he's probably the most vulnerable right now so we're gonna kind of just kind of just random well not really randomly we're gonna fill every single possible block that we can uh, so here we go guys so this is just gonna be a really I'm hoping it's gonna be a real like a big pain in the butt to clean up and I mean it's it's a really it's it's a very simple prank and I thought it'd be really funny to do it on on one of the people who are who are like the main the main person who runs well not really runs but 
he he manages the the rise server make sure everything doesn't lag and all of that so hopefully this doesn't cause too much of a problem and uh once again guys rise is all about interacting with the people who actually watch the series so if you guys have any amazing prank ideas like other like this one like almost all of my pranks that i've done so far have come from the comment section so if you guys have like an ingenious sort of prank that I can do on the server or, and you want me to do it on somebody in specific leave a comment in the comment section below because I do I, I tend to read almost every single one of those comments to see if there's anything useful that I can get from uh, reading all your guys's comments I mean I read almost every single videos like just to see what everybody's thinking and all of that so yeah let me know if you guys have any other future prank ideas i'm really i i need to make a blaze farm soon because i said that a couple episodes ago that i, I found a couple of blaze spawns in our blaze uh spawners in the nether and i really want to make those into actual blaze farms and we could either make a business out of it or we could just make um ever like a free xp farm for everybody so that's going to be really really helpful especially since uh we're sort of starting to prepare for a big uh ender dragon fight so if or so another one of our members found the ender portal or yeah that's called an ender portal not an ender portal the, the end portal so some one of our members found the end portal already i think it was actually kobe who found it and then he was asking uh, on the rise chat he was asking when everybody would be ready to actually fight the ender dragon and then a, a lot of people don't have the materials right for that because i mean they might not have the levels to enchant so i mean if i if i do something like a like a free blaze spawner place for everybody to be able to train up and enchant all their items i think that'd be really nice for the community i mean i don't have to really charge for it i'm not i'm not that i'm not that oh god there's a spider oh my god that spider just scared the crap out of me what the heck all right but yeah so we're, we're probably going to be ending up making a blaze spawner sometime in the near future not i mean maybe in the next couple episodes i haven't really decided because i do have to grab the materials for it i have to look up a farm how to do it because i don't have it memorized i mean i'm probably just going to copy a version of uh ethos's blaze spawner I, I know a lot of you guys who play factions are very very familiar with ethos and all of his uh really helpful mob spawner ideas so i'll probably just do like a, a small version of ethos's uh blaze grinder and then i'll record that on camera for you guys so for you guys who play factions or if you guys have your own smp you guys can learn how to uh build your own uh, blaze spawner so yeah in the comment section below guys would you like me to do a full tutorial on how to do a blaze spawner like do you guys want me to show you exactly how how to build a full blaze spawner and an efficient blaze spawner that uh kind of spawns in as much as like the highest possible rate of blaze per minute so you guys can get the max efficiency out of it so if you guys if you guys are interested in me making a full tutorial on rise on how to make a blaze spawner like an efficient blaze spawner leave it in the comment section below just say something like uh build the blaze spawner on camera and then it, put that in the comment section below and if you guys put that there i will know that you guys or the audience will want me to build it fully on camera so we almost got kobe's full house here cube we're probably gonna actually need more materials we're gonna it looks like we're slowly running out we've got another stack but we've got some of the little the, the community chest there so we should be we might we should be good i mean I, I know there's a whole bunch of cobble over there but in oh actually no we used a lot of cobble in stitches prank so that might be a problem so anyways we're going to just go ahead and continue placing these blocks and uh yeah so future plans for rise uh everybody's starting to plan out our ender dragon fight so we want to make that like a big milestone so we want everybody to have like full diamond or not even full diamond but just like at least be fully geared to the point where um fully geared to the point where we can fight it without worrying too much about dying so let's see if there's any more materials i can grab in this oh perfect there's dirt i'm just gonna grab all this dirt oh look at this all right, let's make a big little cube. Actually, let's let's do this. I don't want to go too far. Let's break this one too, and then let's put that here. So we're gonna block off the entrance at the very end, but we still need to work on the very inside. So it's just gonna continue placing these randomly, not really randomly, in a perfect cube, all around everywhere. Do 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 do. So here we go, guys. This is this is a very easy prank, very minimal resources, but the amount of time it'll take to clean up, or the amount of time, just the amount of laughs that we'll get from it, will be a nice amount. So, nice and simple prank that we could do on Rise, and yeah. And uh, so I haven't really worked on my um, 
my base in a while like in this in the server on the rise like my home i haven't really worked on my home in a while and because I, I mean the rain main reason why i haven't worked on my home in a while is probably because i'm not really sure what to build right now like i don't know if i want to focus uh solely on the villagers or if i want to actually um start building like a modern house like on the hills because i'm not the best of builders so i can't really imagine um how i'm gonna build that on the house yet. i mean I'm, I'm like google imaging some uh some stuff to give me some inspiration and some ideas but it's really hard i don't know i don't know how you builders do it like the, there's a lot of you builders out there on minecraft who can like imagine up like these fantastic structures and then within like a day or two you guys can like build that and like I, that's just not i'm not sure if i'm just not creative like that or if i'm artistically inclined but I just need I need a lot of time for me to come up with like those types of ideas so I kind of I'm kind of trying to use like all I can get like from Google and from uh, like ideas from past builds that I've done like on my own little survival series from like ages ago but anyways yeah so I'm, I'm kind of just looking at ideas right now if I want to make that base or maybe if I want to just go pure business so if I want to I might want to start a new business that um, basically just does whatever I can find and sells it so like either sell blaze rods if I make that blaze farm or I can uh, actually sell villagers for people I can put a lot of villagers in our village that'd be really cool actually so we might we might start uh, I was pl probably planning on doing that anyway probably start a sort of like a villager a villager shop where people can buy villagers for me which is which would be really cool because villagers are actually really really helpful when it comes to uh, stuff like at the house stuff of that nature so it looks like we're almost done placing the last blocks here hopefully Kobe doesn't get too angry and hopefully I know I probably I know I know Kobe for a fact and I'm pretty sure he's gonna end up pranking me for this but it's gonna be so worth it after I, <laughs> I basically dirted up his entire house all right let's block these off finishing touches on this easy prank that we committed today on far few games one of the rise SMP members let's cover this up perfectly all the way up to the ceiling and then we should be good to go <laughs> oh such an easy prank i don't know why i didn't think of this earlier there you go his strap is fully covered hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode of pranking that kind of looks so messed up of pranking far few games slash kobe uh if you guys have any once again if you guys have any ideas for future pranks or what i should do for my shop or any of that stuff that i talked about in the video leave a comment in the comment section below guys and i will uh, be able to uh, g basically check those out and then give shout outs to the people who deserve uh, or who gave me ideas to uh, to make stuff. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. This is D-Field pranking far few games and we will see you guys later.